All right, we're back at the camp. We finished putting the rest of the rafters on, on the front loft, but I'm about to hook up the window. I wound up picking up a, uh, a 28 by 44 window. So what I did, I kind of laid out my shower. Let me take this off the stand real quick. So I actually went bigger on my shower. I went three foot by three foot. And then I kind of laid out my door and I kind of just laid out where my center of my window is at. So I got to take out that stud, that stud, and that stud, and then start framing it up. But it ain't going to be too bad. It's going to be a good day. Look at the roof. Looks good. I still got to screw down that side and then hang a bunch of joists and studs. But for right now, we're going to get this window in and we're going to try to get the siding up today. Got us some help. It's a cool day. It's the first time in months it's been like 70 in the morning. We got enough fans to blow every mosquito off the face of the swamp. So we're going to be good. I'm going to get all that cut up. I'll show y'all when we put the window in. All right, we got the window all framed up. That's looking good. Everything's lined back up. So now I got to go on the outside. I got to take my house wrap. I got some staples. I'm going to just wrap this thing, house wrap it, cut it out for my window, cut it out for my door. I got some, uh, some of that butyl tape or whatever it's made out of, tar tape or whatever you want to call it. Tape all my edges, tape everything up, make sure it's all good, my corners are good, and then we can start slinging some siding up on this thing, and hopefully that goes smoothly. Hope, hopefully. <laughs> I got hand nails for all of that. If I feel like screwing it, I'm wind up screwing it. So we're going to see. Everything's coming out great. We got the window, he got the house wrap. So I'll set you up in the ground and show you all this, how bad this is about to be. <clears throat> oh, wow. Let's see how difficult this is going to be. No way I could have done this. I could have. I could have built a lift. Oh my God. That's why I didn't want you getting on this ladder. Go, go past you about... Right there is good. Okay. Coming to you. I'm gonna hold it. You got the staple there, buddy. Put you a couple staples in there. Yeah, just all over in the header or whatever. Yeah. I got you back. Put a couple. Just way of it. Don't it ain't gonna be nothing special. Just something to hold it. All right, that's good. All right. Okay. So, tried to do it with the roll, and that just didn't work out too good. So we just cut a piece. I don't know, 12, 14 foot, and I'm gonna just go around, get it nice and tight, you know, and keep going. What I can't do the bottom yet. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I got some of that that tape I was telling you about it, and watch, watch what I do with it. That's sketchy. Phew! Okay. Come on, you suck. Oh. Don't worry about it too much. That's good. I'm go to the other side. I'm gonna just have to keep pulling it tight. <laughs>
right, now you can see we got the house wrap on. Let me show you what I did. I took that old tape and I put that along my ledge like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it up. It's kind of gonna be like a flashing because there's gonna be a ledge there because the way I built the frame. So I wanna protect it, you know, 10, 15 years down the line. I won't have to worry about rotting or my plywood going bad because sometimes that plywood rot pretty fast. So I just made me a ledge. I'm going to finish stapling all the house wrap on and everything. And then we'll cut you back on when we're putting the window in, baby. It's just one process at a time. We're burning fires, trying to get rid of mosquitoes. But just that old tape I was telling you about, get it from uh, Home Depot. It's called, let me show you. Come on, camera going crazy. It's called Protecto Wrap. It's like for your windows and your doors and all that. We'll get this all ready to go. And then we're going to turn that into a sauna once it's wrapped because it's going to be hot. At least I got a breeze today. All right. We got the window in. We got the house wrap. Let me show you how we tired. But we got the house wrap all the way around on everything. Let me show you from the body side. Look how beautiful it is today. Oh, tripping over logs. Boom, got a fire roller. Got the front side did. Got the door cut out. Let me show y'all how that uh, from the inside. Kind of cleaning it up. It's five o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. <laughs> Look at that window. And the inside's all done. Whenever it's done, you'll be able to see out there, but that's a pretty view. I got those rafters tied in. I got to tie those four or five in the more. But other than that, we just got done cooking for TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, it's X by UX, the same that it is on YouTube. We're about to hit, we're getting close to 50,000 on there. So y'all check that out. But watch this. We just got done cooking. Cook some uh, beautiful shrimp boulettes. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna cook on in this video yet, but we're gonna get there. I'm coming back out tomorrow for sure. 100%, 1000% we're coming back out. Look at that boat. Keep clearing up, bring chainsaw, get everything done. But it's coming along, babe. Can't wait to get the loft built together. I gotta take a few measurements before I leave, stump it, uh, well, it's tomorrow, Sunday, so everything's gonna be closed. I might have to go tonight to the lumber yard. But I'm going to take a measurement across them beams. I bought some 2x6s to use for the, the loft joist. But I'm not going to do that because I know they're going to sag over time. So I'm going to just go ahead. And hopefully they are 2x10. If they're 2x10, I'm going to put a 2x10. If they're 2x8, I'm going to put a 2x8. I, I bought some joist hangers last night for it. And uh, we still got a bunch of knick-knack things to do. But tomorrow we're going to come out. We're going to start throwing siding up. We're going to start throwing the siding up on the window side first. And uh, like I said, it's only 11 sheets, so it's not that bad. And then two of those sheets are going to be cut in half. So we're going to get it together. I got all my one by fours on the ground for all my stripping on my roof. And once we get all the stripping on, we'll be able to start throwing metal up. I bought some butyl tape yesterday. I got to go get some uh, some drip edge and some some ends to seal, to seal it up. And we'll go from there, baby. I'll catch y'all on tomorrow. See y'all on God's day. Yeah, 
ten point at ten is how bad off is this this mix of each down for Yeah, right there. I want to go. I know. I know what you're saying. Listen. Not even on the two This one right here. The bowl. It looks like you're going to make it ahead. If I got to come back to you. I got to come to you. Yeah, that, that, that's the top of the rock Yeah, and you can tell the two back there. Like that. I'm going to... I know that for a while, man. I, I know, I know you know. That's it for the day.
Got that all mounted up. What the? Got my flashing on there. See that? Put my flash. Man, that thing's cut so beautiful around that window. I tell you what, them nails, that ain't it. That ain't it. The back side. And show you the body. Huh? <coughs> Fall, trip, never return. Looks pretty good though. And then the front. We're sending uh Indian smoke signals down the body right now. That's the front of it. It's coming along. Putting the roof on next weekend. Oh yeah, I didn't show y'all my stairs. In the last video, I did my stairs. I'm gonna put me a uh so I didn't finish it out right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a uh, a little pad and then I have a step coming down, a step coming down. We're gonna we're gonna be like the rich folks out here. We're gonna have the hexagonal, I don't even know that's the right hex hexagonal staircase. It's just it's <laughs> <laughs> don't make no sense. Yeah, still got a lot of work to do, but we did a lot today. We got the we got the walls up, got the paper on this weekend, got the rest of the rafters on, got the window in. So next weekend, come up here, take the one by four, strip the roof out, and fight that metal. Man, that's gonna suck. I ain't gonna lie with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some vice grips on a rope and pull it up. That's all I can really do. Oh yeah, we could bro, I could put a chain fall on the tree. But everything's looking good. Got everybody with me today. We rolling home. I don't know what I'm gonna cook yet. I'll figure that out when I get there. But it'll probably be something good. Shrimp creole. Shrimp creole? That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, we're cooking shrimp creole. You ain't gotta tell me twice. That's the problem. You start eating all this good food, I start cooking, you get three, four hundred pounds. But then you come out here and you just you build stuff and it, it offsets it. You just don't eat all day and then go home and cook good stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Got me a little little got me a little jiggly puff. But that's it. We rolling. See you at the house. So now that I get to remake this video, I, I was I put the butter in there, so we're cooking some shrimp creole. So I put the butter in there, I had the butter to start to get the melting. I put my gidries in there. Y'all know I love I love my Gidris. And uh a tsunami came through and decided to turn my power off. So I didn't have no lights. They don't have no gas stove in this house. I got my gas stove outside, but it's hot out there. And cooking and hot, that ain't it. But we're cooking that old shrimp creole, baby. I got some beautiful 2125s, wild caught Louisiana golf shrimp. Very simple recipe. You just need some your favorite seasoning. I like the Cajun two step, so I'm gonna be using the Cajun two step fire. You're gonna need you some fire roasted tomatoes. You're gonna need you some stewed tomatoes and a little bit. Of, I got the roasted garlic, uh, eight ounces of tomato sauce, and I got. You know I got that, bro. You know I got that Louisiana hot sauce. That's that's the best stuff right there. But we're just gonna cook this down for a little bit, get this all smothered down. But while I got y'all right here, uh, we made some good progress on the camp this weekend. Next weekend, we're gonna go put the roof on. We're gonna get that all ready to go. Oh yeah, the butter's unsalted. We're gonna get that all ready to go. And uh, hopefully that'll be closed then. And I can start working on my, uh, my eaves, cause I, I will have eaves on there. I gotta put the facial boards and all of that. And um, I wanted to get the siding up, though. I'm going to close the siding up, and then I'm going to polyurethane all of that, and I'm going to seal all that up. <clears throat> and other than that, we can start working on the inside. We can run some electricity, put some power in there, run a couple outlets and things like that. One little light, two little light here and there. Um, we still got to frame out the shower. I got to – I don't know how to do showers, so I'm going to learn how to do showers. I'm going to watch a lot of videos and just learn how to seal showers in and make things waterproof. I'll figure all that out. Um, I'll figure out how to do plumbing. I'm not the greatest plumber. I'll tell you right now, I don't have a clue about plumbing, but I can make a, a peak trap. <laughs> so that's all going to be a learning experience for me and everything. And then once we get all of that, the wires and that framed out, uh, I got to figure out if I want to do Luan and polyurethane in there. 
or if I want to do sheetrock, I'd much rather do um, Luan with polyurethane with the little pan head screws with the washer. And because the shower, if we, we bought 14 sheets of metal, it should only take 12 sheets. So if I got 14 sheets, I want to, on the outside of my shower, I want to make that 10 too, you know, just kind of give it that vibe, you know. Um, got to get a light. We got to, we got to, we got a lot of stuff to do. We still got to, at the bottom of the camp, I still got to do some bracing. We ran the anchors in. I didn't get to show that today, but we ran the anchors in, the trailer anchors in the date in the ground on all four corners. So I still got to put those eye bolts through the frame and then strap it down. I still have to do the middle post. Uh, we're going to bring a jack out there next weekend and jack up on the frame and do a few little things to tweak it. Um, I still got a few bunch of supports underneath to do. Um, a bunch of hurricane ties. I still got to put on my roof, on my rafters, I'm going to put some uh, some little tie backs. I'm going to take some 2x4s and tie at the top of the rafters and make a little square spot. That way I have a spot to hang my light. Um, other than that, it's going great. We've just been really tired, man. We've been going out there for 8 to 10 hours a day. And a little bit of film you see, uh, it, it takes me a while to compress all of that. I got to go through it, edit it. It's been a learning experience for me. I've been learning some better things, how to edit things a little bit. And I, it's a really a, a really good learning process for me. Man, this smells amazing. Hope y'all like this little setup right here. Uh, uh, I got a better little light. I'm trying to figure out lighting with these cameras. So excuse me if sometimes it seems dark. I'm trying my best. Um, but we're going to get this cooked down. I'm going to cut you back on. I got me some old Blue Moon. I seen they had these. My buddy has sent me that, so decided to try that out. I like the Blue Moon on the draft. You know, go eat some wings or something like that. But I'm going to get all that smothered down, and then I'm going to show you all in the next step, baby. And y'all stay tuned for this. Now that you got your onions browned down like you like them, translucent, I got that Cajun two-step for y'all. I'm going to put that in there like that. And I'm going to put you a good bit because you got to remember, you. there's going to be some good stuff right here. So we got that. <clears throat> we got our um garlic i got some minced garlic forgot to show y'all that if you like a little bit of garlic use as much as you want one tablespoon is good enough but i like garlic if y'all like me i like garlic we'll sit there we'll stir that in let it get fragrant in here but y'all should smell my house bro I, I i do a lot of cooking in my house and man this thing just you step in here lord have mercy you really fall in love so, I'm getting all this cooked. We're doing all of that. Check that out. We're going to let that cook for about one minute. Just let that, that garlic, you know, just get a little bit of heat to it and everything. Somebody text me. Hold on. What I got. All right. One of my buddies, he's uh, making a logo. He's trying to make a company. So, He's been sending me some logos, you know, to ask me what I think about it. It's always good, man. And that's that's another good thing to tell y'all. Like, always support your friends, you know, no matter what your friends do. Like, they're trying to start a business, you know, be all there for them, you know, support them. Share their things, small business, local business, you know, always take care of everybody that's local, you know. Do as best as you can for them. I know sometimes we all get busy in life, but, I mean, they make a little Facebook post post they make a little tiktok they make a little youtube you know just share it for them and only take a few seconds out your day so we got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce they call that the wash your sister sauce we're just gonna dab it a little bit in there like that you gotta put a whole bunch just put enough to get that flavor then we're gonna take our fire roasted tomatoes we're gonna put that in there boom get that out of the way then we got our stewed tomatoes you gotta watch them lids, bottom lids be sharp. Got them stewed tomatoes. I'm gonna throw that in there like that. Then we got tomato sauce. Like I said, I got the garlic one. I like garlic. I don't know about y'all, but I really like garlic. We're gonna take that and get that out of the way. And we're gonna stir all that together. Get all that incorporated. Try to bust down some of them big stewed tomatoes, you know. Just take your old spatula and just chop them up, you know. You don't want them big like they get them. That's the only ones I can find at the store. When I about start uh, at the camp, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start a garden, and uh, I love the garden. I've always loved the garden, you know. So at the camp, I'm gonna start me a garden, and we'll start doing like tomatoes, you know, okra. We start growing our own vegetables to do these cooking, garlic, all of that. That way, I don't have to go far. 
I could just sit right there because I plan on living out there one day. So I would like to have my own garden, set it up with a good watering system in case I'm too busy for the day to, to buy your pump, buy your water straight to it, you know. Um, just get all that rolling, you know, figure all that out. I'm going to have to put a cage around them, you know, with all the bees. I might just have to grow a couple extra plants, you know, just give it, give it back to the wildlife, you know. But get all that stirred up. I got it on a medium heat, but I'm going to let, I'm going to wait till this thing starts simmering a little bit. And once it starts simmering, I'm going to turn it to low and I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes. I'm going to let all that, because boy, I'm going to tell you what, that look good. About the last 10 minutes, you know, 10, 12 minutes, you know, you got, you got to cook your rice. So I'm going to pop my little rice cooker on. And once that's done, we'll put them shrimp in there. I don't know, five, ten more minutes, and that's it, baby. And I hope y'all enjoy this one. Just stay tuned for the end of that. All right, now everything been cooking. I said 20 minutes. My rice took too long, so it's been 30 minutes. We've been cooking that down. I decided to do green beans. I just threw a little bit of butter, salt, and black pepper in there. We're going to take our shrimp, throw that in there. It's only going to take two minutes from here. From once you put them shrimp in there, we're going to take our Louisiana hot sauce. Put a little bit of razzle dazzle in there. Nothing too crazy, just give it a little bit of vinegar flavor. Mix that around. The shrimp will turn like a pinkish color. And you'll see what they've done. They make like a like the letter C. That's how you know your shrimp done. But we're gonna finish letting that cook. We're gonna plate that up. I gotta give my neighbor half of it because he's looking at me right now like he ready to take me out because he's so hungry because he lost power too so let me let me finish that before I, uh i go meet my maker and i'll cut you up back on all right baby look how beautiful that come out look at that look at that so i appreciate y'all tuning in for this weekend's endeavors i'm about to say my grace and eat my food and enjoy the weekend for well, the rest of my Sunday, you know, it's the Lord's Day. And um, I'll catch y'all on next weekend. Hopefully we can get a bunch of more stuff done. They got the Shrimp Petroleum Festival that they do down here every year. I'll be out there if you see me. Tell me, hey, tell me what's up, man. I appreciate y'all. The God that I seen the other day, I appreciate you, man. I was just, I was tired, man. I was up for almost 40 hours straight when you had seen me. We decided to go frogging and everything else. Not the best idea ever. Will work. And, um... Yeah, but we'll get the tent on. We'll get the roof on next weekend. We'll get all of that done. We'll go to the shrimp fest. I'm gonna go listen to some music, drink a little bit, eat some good food, hang with some friends, buy some artwork. I got a piece coming for the cabin out there that I, I wanna get a guy to make. So y'all stay tuned for that. This looks delicious. I'm hungry. It's 8.30 at night. And uh, I'll edit this video tomorrow, which will be Monday, and I'll try to get it to y'all. When you see this, it'll probably be Tuesday or Wednesday. But I appreciate all of you. I hope y'all just keep sharing and subscribing. I'll keep cooking good food for y'all. We'll keep doing update videos. And hopefully, you know, sometime by the end of this year, we can actually go out there and sleep and go fishing and go hunting and just exploring the Chafalaya Basin for what it is, baby. And um, just stay tuned. I appreciate all y'all. Love all y'all. And y'all stay safe.